Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Another generation ship has been found. This time just outside the bubble. It tells the story of someone who has been detained prior to a disaster befalling the generation ship and its subsequent fall into madness. The system you want is the HR2351 system and you want to be looking about 4,000 light seconds away from the main star. The Epimetheus generation ship is a small generation ship with a small story attached to it. In Greek mythology, Epimetheus was one of the Titans. He was the brother of Prometheus. And his name is derived from the Greek word meaning afterthought, which is an acronym of his brothers, which Prometheus means forethought. Anyway, this ship has befallen a bit of a disaster. We're going to play the logs and come back at the end to have a think about them. Hello? But can anyone hear me? There's been a mistake. I'm not supposed to be in here. I only borrowed that data chip. I was going to give it back. Locking me in the brig is completely unnecessary. Where do you think I would go if you let me out? We're in the depths of the black. Alright, keep your shirt on. I I'm sure we can work all this out. I I if I could just explain myself to the captain, he'd realise this is all a big misunderstanding. to myself. It's been days. Everything's so quiet. Thank God that siren finally stopped, but now the silence is killing me. Where is everyone? The automated systems provide me with food and water and flush away my waste, but, but for how much longer? Someone will find the ship soon, surely. We can't just drift through the void forever, can we? It's whispering to me. I can hear it through the air vents. The void is speaking to me. It wants to tell me something, but I can't make out the words. It must be a way out of this prison. A solution to the puzzle. I'm innocent. They know I've done nothing wrong, but they put me in here anyway. It was a test. I know that now. Part of some greater game. I just need to find the answer. <laughs> How long have I been here? <laughs> a week? <laughs> a year? Maybe only a matter of hours. Isolation does strange things to people. A lesser man might have got insane, but not me. 
<laughs> Not Joe Collins. Joe Collins. That is me, isn't it? Well, he went mad quite quickly, didn't he? Indeed, it's underpants on the head and two pencils up your nose. If you haven't already done so, please get that like and subscribe button and also look for that notification icon as that'll let you know when I'm putting more Elite Dangerous videos on YouTube. Now, as with all the generation ships, there's been a, a bit of voice acting. This one, quite short though, in comparison to some of the others, that is not so much of an in-depth story. You never really got to find out, you know, who would attack the ship. There's no signs of damage on the outside. There's no Thargoid goo or what have you. Even if it was the Thargoids, it might have been something completely different. A lot of these generation ships have been indeed sent out. Um, but then finding them, as we're finding them now, not a hell of a lot of damage, like I said. And you've got to wonder if there's going to be an entire backstory attached to this as to what's incurred these disasters. If not, Frontier could be missing a trick here. Anyway, I've been Ricardo and this has been Elite Dangerous Beyond as we wait for more content. This has been the Generation Ship Epimetheus. Hope you've enjoyed it. Look back for more videos in the series and other content on YouTube.